Hey guys, mind how I look. I said I've not done my hair or my face or anything. Um, but I have missed a few days of updating you about my 75 part, so we're just going to do that now. While I remember. So, got the chart. Um, so, I updated you on one, day one, two, three, and four. So, day five and six. Um, so, on day four, my weight was 63.9. On day five, my weight was 64.0. Day six, 64.1. Day seven, 64.0. And day eight, 63.5. Now, I ditched those home workouts for the gym because they just weren't cutting it. I didn't feel like I had done a workout. I didn't feel like I had done enough. I wasn't satisfied and clearly neither was the weight. I started going to the gym and noticed a drop. So I started going to the gym at, um, on day six. And so on day six, I was 64.1. I went to the gym. Day seven, 64.0, I also went to the gym. Um, day eight, went to the gym and weighed 63.5. And I also realized that OMAD probably isn't the best diet when starting to lift weights, because I'm lifting weights and doing cardio. Um, I am so sore today, two days going to the gym, or three days going to the gym and lifting weights. So I am eating in a calorie deficit as well, and just really, <coughs> focusing because the food is your friend and my own mood was good when I wasn't working out it was a good way to, to keep my weight low and everything else but now that I'm working out and wanting to build muscle and tone up and stuff my body needs a lot more fuel than just one meal a day so I'm eating in a calorie deficit um, I feel so much happier because I'm eating more than I did in my OMAD. In my OMAD there was really one small meal a day in the morning and I would suffer to cooking dinner for everyone and not enjoying food, not enjoying life. My partner would be eating snacks and I would just be starving. So um, I started my calorie deficit three days ago and I am so happy I get to eat. I get to, you know, and my body is fueled for the gym at night time and it is amazing. I'm really enjoying the gym. I am super sore today, but super happy and feel like I'm accomplishing stuff. When I'm sore, I know that I've got a good workout. Um, so yeah, that's an update. So from day one, I was 65 kilo and day eight, I am 63.5. So I am quite happy with that weight loss. Um, I'm going to continue doing it for 75 days. Um, I'm going to the gym tonight, so I cannot wait to, so today is day nine, no, today's day eight, sorry, I'm mixed up all my days, today's day eight, go to the gym tonight and see how we're going, um, yesterday I did just a little gym session because I was extremely sore, but I knew that I still needed to go and that I still needed to do the same routine. So I did the same routine, just shorter time. Um, I definitely did a lot, lot more cardio yesterday. Like I did some weights and realized my body was way too sore. So I still did some cardio. I do treadmill, Stairmaster. I don't know the names of the machines, but some weights. Um, I didn't do my glute workouts yesterday because they are so sore. But um, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I am still losing weight. I'm super happy. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> I'm so excited to eat soon. Like that it wasn't just my one meal that I have to eat today. Um, so I am hoping by what's today? Today's Monday. So by next Monday, where are we? Sorry, guys. So Monday, so by next Monday, it'll be day 15, I'm going to set a, a goal weight for 60, that's 62 kilo or like in the 62 range, it can be 62.9, it can be 62, whatever, but I want to be in the 62 range by day 15. So that is losing about half a kilo, a kilo 
this coming week. Um, and I've, I'm positive about that with being in my calorie deficit. I'm really sticking to it. Even if I want a bit of alcohol, if I have already hit my calories, I will not drink it. And if I know that I'm going to drink, I will calculate my alcohol into my calorie deficit in the morning. So say if I'm going to have four drinks tonight, I will add those in in the morning for that night and then eat around those things. Um, but this following week will be no alcohol at all and I'm just so excited to see the results. Um, my clothes are definitely putting me much better already. Um, like I'm not bloated and when I get up and see my stomach, I'm still horrified by it, but I'm, it's not bloated. So it is looking flatter because it's not full of bloat. It's not, you know, um, and I am sleeping better since I started my calorie deficit I am sleeping so much better I'm not having bad dreams I'm not overthinking I'm just sleeping like it is amazing um especially going to the gym and I find it really tires my body out to get there I'm still trying to hit my five to seven hundred calories a day burning through the gym I am probably hitting somewhere between yesterday was a low one so yesterday I think was only about 450 calories I burned today was just a chill day Sunday um, but prior I've been hitting between five to seven hundred like um, on Saturday I hit 600 calories burnt and I was really happy with that so I'm just making a range that I'm not having to stick to this one thing a day as long as I hit between the five and seven hundred calories burnt today I'm really happy so I am going to go and eat my apple now and stay tuned, I'm so excited.